Mega Six Star in the gates. You know, I've been going through the story pretty much most of the time that I have been playing. I feel it's like a little bit time that I uh, check out a couple of the um, Hello students. there. Perhaps you can help me. That need help. Now, last time I checked off, I seen that I had this on the side for a minute. I saw Arthur Plum studying two treasure maps he had found. I should see if he needs any help. Arthur Plumley. It's very hard to say a lot of their names. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Two, two maps, man. Let's take a look at that. It sounds like something I need. You know? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Hecate's classroom. Hmm. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. What is this? A swirling dragon. It look like a dragon on a pole or a sword or something like that. Look kind of awkward. What's the second one? This one? I've seen this before. I have definitely seen this. What's in the background? I see stairs and it's telling me what go up some stairs on the front of it from where his face is at. I've seen that before for sure. Alright, that's that here is the courtyard. It's definitely the courtyard. I remember that from uh getting the Reperio magic. And what is that, like a circle of a door in the background, like a loopy door? All right, I'll make sure I check that out. I gotta walk straight backwards. And what's this? That's, I don't, I don't think I've seen this picture yet. And it's like, what is that, Accio? Look like the Accio logo. To the picture, to the sign, maybe. Who knows? I gotta remember that. I know when I get in the courtroom, I know where the courtyard is at because I'm always walking through, so I know to get back there. Let's get it. The first clue shows a rhinoceros skeleton on display. I know I must have walked by that at least a dozen times. Now, if only I could remember where it is. Well, let's see. That purple L is pointing downward. It's kind of hard to see, but I don't know where that uh, dragon would be. Rebellion. Alright, so this is down here. Is that the dragon right there? Oh, look, I knew I, I walked past it a couple times. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. 
I'm on the right track. Revelios. Seen that in the background. Serpentine Beast Widow. God pages. Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to the house founder, it is actually a serpentine beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary green man. What? Thank you, thank you. I think I already had one of those. Rebellion. Painting of Ilias. Did I say that right? This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and the dark wizard Raxilian by conjuring a mouse patroness. We got 15 out of 15. Revelio. I don't think I should go this area. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. That's like the face of it, that's crazy. Excuse me? You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Trolls and dragons, huh? I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Yo said Puff Skeen Dunkeen. What is a Puff Skeen? Would I be rude? Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. You was hoping I could go inside of that? You hear this guy? What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. You will forever be in my debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. I should search the grounds around the Herbology Wing. For the entrance of the Hidden Herbology Corridor. Oh, you interrupted me from everything. Look, here go to the courtyard. 
I shall be back. We're gonna see what he wants. I did not just witness that, did I? A ghostly door. The loading screens is very like it's it's unique. Rebellion. It's kind of weird sometimes. I just peeked at that statue and just figured there'd be something right there. Anyways, statue of Gregory the Smarmy. Smarmy. What's that? This statue with the ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctus unction. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Sounds like a crazy drug. Oh, look at that. Was it? I've always said Half that travel broadens the mind. Stirred clockwise. Yeah, I showed it. Okay. Rebellion. I didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry. Oh, I know exactly where I'm at because that mission right there, I seen for a minute. statue bears the likeness of Pengar Don, fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted study companion. Indeed, indeed. Rebellion! Outside, outside. Lumos. Oh. Revelio. Okay, <laughs> greenhouse over here look at that that look crazy this school is beautiful though like it really gives you an experience in here. rebellion and you gotta look every corner for things glum bubbles glum bubbles i can't say that bumbles glum bumbles I mean, it's hard to say like that Glum bumbles are magical flying insects that produce a trickle which will cause melancholy or melancholy if consumed. 
They feed on nettles and nests in dark and secluded places. Unfortunately, they are known to infest beehives, having a devastating effect on the honey therein. I mean, are they supposed to as far as being over here inside of this, um, well, given that it's on the guide page, then yeah, they are supposed to. Saying that it's downstairs. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Revelio! Said these vines are being. What? From being kindled or flamed? That's what he's talking about? Incendiary! Indeed. Oh, yeah, this is it. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. This look kind of spooky. Incendio! That's crazy. Rebellion. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. What the hell? I was just watching Stranger Things. That's crazy. What did he say? Need to find something from the hidden biology corridor that Duncan can use to make him look brave to his classmates. Yeah, cause he's definitely too uh yeah, he's spooked. I ain't trying to He said light. Lumos. Oh look at that, that's crazy. It's <laughs> That's crazy. That's Rebellion. <laughs> Incendio. The flame does anything to it. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Wow. Incendio. 
this is like a secret. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Lumos! Incendium! In the water and all that. Lumos. Oh, heck no. What happened if I jump? Incendio. Rushed wool cape, huh? Rebellion. Look like that's the destination. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendium. Lumos. Incendium. Rebellion. Wow. That thing looked crazy. Gonna attack me. Incendium. I think that's it. Says to the greenhouses. Rebellion. Oh wow, I could collect these. This orange radish like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. There is indeed Rebellion. a lot of files. Plants that was down there. Oh, oh, I'm in space like goodness. I had two ton gloves.
Revelio. This is, I know exactly where this is at, okay. Speaking. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. This stairwell looks promising. Oh, whoa. Hold up. That's definitely it. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? There's a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Is that a hoodie? Revelio. Keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? I've seen you before, so why ignore you? Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Hmm. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. <laughs> I thought they could go almost anywhere. It's peeves that, uh, that rat jester that snitched on the homie? Most likely. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well? Ah, uh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Now we mentioned here in a Dedalian key in the astronomy tower. I'm sure I can find it if I look around and listen. Okay. First things first. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. For you? Huh. 
No, nah, let me stop. I just seen that right there. Like, hold up, bro. I'll be nice. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Listen, I know Thank I you for will. all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. Puff skiing dunking. Come on now. Puff skiing is gonna live within me saying it. Talk to the homie, but I think hopefully this is like leading me in that area too. The astronomy tower, I think that's where he is at. Revelio. Oh, some points, okay. Not over here. They said they'd never seen. Find anything yet? Bro, at least look at me. Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round these might build anything in? Indeed. So that's that. Rebellion. And oh, look, her mission does pretty much. Directs straight over here, that's what's up. Have I really been up here? I believe I have. Yeah, I remember this area. Somewhat. Check that out. Oh, that looks wicked. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barney. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barney's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. Oh, wow. So it's all bad for him, huh? Rebellion. <laughs> it was all bad for him.
a Dalian key. Oh, I wonder where that? it might lead me. Up here? Oh no, no, it's telling me downstairs. Revelio. I'm just like I'm all the way up here. I might. As well. Sell my items. Now, no, no, you want it, please. I think that's Pease right there, that little crazy guy. Be ratting on people. That box will always be there, so. Rebellion. My dear Satyavati, Satyavati, you'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of media showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer. All muggles, mind you, as far as I know. To propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors and comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using my pseudonym, however you say that, from my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. What an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and do hope you are well. With love, Suscrita. Suscrita. They both have weird names. Suscrita and... Satyavati. Oh wow, now look, there's this thing right here. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Okay, that was wrong. Do I like slap it in the key? Nelly knows what it means. Perhaps. Let's be quick. Imagine running through here without this map. What a journey. to follow one of the Dedalian keys. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. 
Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I better unlocks our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. The house chest, you say? All right, let's see this through then. Going back upstairs, right? Okay. Revelio. We can already check this area for that. The Lanky. This statue depicts the wizard Lechon the Lanky, a tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself. But what precisely, no one will ever know, huh? Revelio. Portrait. This portrait guards the Gryffindor common room, requiring a password from any who wish to enter. She and her friend Violet are known to wander among the other portraits, periodically helping themselves to the vats of wine therein. Is that so, Miss? Okay. This must be my house chest. I just need to insert the token. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. One out of 16. The Dedalian keys. It looks like my house chest room has room for more tokens. I should look for more Dedalian keys around Hogwarts. One out of 16, you say? That is indeed a lot. Revelio. Well. Off on another adventure, are we? Most likely, yeah. Dallion Keys is going to be an extensive ongoing move for me. Can't quite say that. I'll have that done anytime. Rebellion. Soon. Honky Duke's Passageway. Hidden behind a statue of one eyed which is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeydew. It can only be accessed using particular charms. 
I don't think I have it yet. But yeah. I believe I'm gonna have a bit more to do as far as exploration. But I don't when wanna, what uh, was lost has been found, the brothers which I don't want to consume all the time with this particular episode. With that said, Revelio. I'm likely to clear out this chest or clear out my inventory at least. As I explore more the uh university I shall say. Look at that. So, uh, I'm pretty much, you know, believing this to be the end. That's it. Incendio. We're going to get this money. <laughs> we'll figure that out later. Gang. Having a pleasant time at school. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Oh, well, I found two of them. Hogwarts coat of arms includes a lion, snake, eagle, and badger, representing each of the four houses, along with a school motto, Draco Dormian's Nonquam Tatilandis, which means never tickle a sleeping dragon. You won't catch me doing such a thing. Where'd 
to go. Rebellion. These large ornate hourglasses containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are enchanted to keep count of house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, respectively. Revelio. Finding them everywhere. The Hogwarts architect. Shown here surrounded by the four house mascots, designed and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts Castle alongside founder Rowena Ravenclaw, who is credited for fearing its ever-changing force. Indeed. Rebellion. I really lost that key just like that. Oh, maybe because it's easy to find. Check that out. It might be one of the ones where we go. Rebellion. The Great Hall Ceiling. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. What is it? Okay, that looks pretty wicked. It looked as if it was glitchy or something like that, but no. Yeah. Definitely a money-making episode, I must say. Rebellion. Well, I 
if I try to do try not to overdo myself with these episodes but this one right here is a full time exploration I feel I need to do another one of these maybe in between Revelio. I'll be looking for these uh these keys now I'm walking circles alright well that's that again for finding my gobstones I never could have done it myself no problem shorty I got a lot to do over here but we want to wait till then y'all get your money people stay litty I'm likely to be right back over in that direction for the next missions. As for now, Mega Six Star out the gates. I'll be going to that other town that was down there, sell some stuff and gear up for the next. Stay tuned, gang. Peace out.